Hello, this is Johan from Red Face Runaways. We are going to talk about a little bit of foot pegs and uh, we also do a little review on uh, Raid Garage uh, lower and wider foot pegs for KTM 990 Adventure. First, let's look at these original foot pegs. They are sturdy and with good grip, as you can see. Uh, additionally, they have these rubber mounts, but I don't know who is using these. To me, these are completely useless. Uh, these are basically okay, but the problem is that, uh, especially on the right side, the engine is so wide that you actually don't have enough room for your feet. Uh, I can show it, demonstrate it with, uh, with my boot. Okay, um, I do a lot of driving uh, while standing, and, uh, and uh, normally uh, standing on, on the foot pegs and, and moving around, uh, you can see that the clutch cover is so wide that uh, the feet are actually touching the clutch cover quite easily. So what happens is that while driving and moving on the foot pegs, I end up in this position and actually my right foot is only halfway on the foot peg. And uh, obviously this is not very good in, uh, in terms of stability while driving. So that's why we are going to look at Raid Garage wider and lower foot pegs. Okay, so I ordered uh, the lower and wider foot pegs from Raid Garage. Uh, they come in this FedEx package. Let's see what they have here. Uh, some stickers. That's it. And they are packed in. The stickers are a bit bashed up. You can see. Um, Okay. Uh, back in this door. All right. Here's the screws. Okay. So let's see. The the first rims they look very nice quality. Very, very nice indeed. Um, yes, these look really nice. There is something with uh, with the steel pin on the on the other side. It's it's not completely. It's not on the same level as the other one, but I think it's a minor detail. There's also some crack there, but it doesn't matter any at all. I have to check it while I install them. But uh, it has these screws, which I have to put in by myself, like so. Okay, yeah, I just had to put a little Loctite and screw them all in place. And that's it. But yeah, at the first glimpse, looking really nice. Let's put them together. All right, um, I assembled all the screws in place. I put, I glued them in with the, with the Loctite. There's no need to, to remove these. Um, but uh, there was actually seven extra screws. So maybe if something happens, some of these screws get broken or something. I just happened to have some extra screws to, to replace them, but who knows. I took out the original ones. Um, it's an easy job, you just need the pliers to, to rem remove the pin. And um, on the right side you also had to take out the, the brake pedal because it's a bit on the way, but it's, it's a one screw. Easy job. Um, the Raid Garage kit comes with, uh, with the springs and uh, the new pins, so that's good. Very, very straightforward and, and simple job. But now we can actually see the, the differences uh, on the size of the foot pegs. Uh, they are wider, they are uh, wider in this way and also especially on, on that way. But also, uh, as they are lower, meaning that uh, they are actually one about one centimeter lower, 
giving you some extra uh, room while sitting and uh, for me it's very interesting because I don't have the bar razors and I've been thinking that maybe uh, the one centimeter when I'm going to be standing lower is going to be enough that uh, I don't have to put in the, the bar razors. Let's see, because at the moment the uh, position while standing still is, uh, is a bit too, too low. But let's see if this helps. Okay, um, the footbacks are installed. Um, remember that uh, you might need to adjust uh, the brake pedal and, the, and the, also the, the gear lever a bit uh, because the footback is lower, so the position compared to the pedal is a bit different. So I actually lowered the, uh, the brake pedal a bit. Uh, it has this locking here, which you can adjust. Um, and they definitely, the footbacks, they are a lot better when I'm just trying them like this. They are really solid, really solid. And uh, yeah, can't wait to test them. As you can see now, even though if I'm moving a bit, my feet is all the time very balanced on, on the footbacks. So. A lot better than the old one. Excellent. Okay, um, on the left side I noticed uh, a slight problem. As you can see, now when the, the foot back is lower, my foot is actually touching the side stand. Um, let's see how I... This requires something because it's will be a, quite annoying having the, the side stand doing this all the time. So let's see, maybe I can bend this a bit or maybe I have to cut it out. Um, let's see. Okay, um, what I did, I just quickly bent this a bit. Now it's just barely touching uh, my foot, but that was actually the same uh, with the original setup. Um, that's a quick and dirty solution. Um, let's see, if it bothers me more, I, I just do a little welding there so, so that this would stay a bit lower like the but Let's see. But uh, in any case, a little bending here and this is doing the trick. All right, I just got back from a test drive, testing these Raid Garage footbacks, and uh, I can tell you that they are quite awesome. I really can't figure out any downsides on them, except of course they cost money. But other than that, uh, they are really good. They give, uh, they have good grip. They give uh, give you a lot of uh, stability and control over the bike in different uh, situations. Um, I really think they're
quite excellent. If you're planning to ride off-road, the decent footpacks really are the first thing to update on your bike. Well, after the tires, of course. For KTM riders, these Raid Garage alloy footpacks are really a good choice to go for. High quality products, which are easy to recommend. I will put the link for the product below if you want to look for more details. Thank you for watching.